YouTube family. You know what I'm saying? Them sharks are in the water for real. Water, water everywhere. We're going to get wet. The only thing that can survive in a shark infested water, it's dolph. It's a dolphin. You feel me? Apparently, Cornelius Smith and, and, and Straight Drop is at the fight of their life and sharks everywhere and them two dudes ain't no dolphin at all. And Cornelius Smith, we're gonna make you meet his lawyer. We're gonna tell you how things are looking a little bit better for his case compared to his partner, but when you got a co-defendant, it all lies on everybody. So everybody, one domino falls down, the entire group falls down. But this attorney might change the table a little bit, but before we talk about will he solve the case or will he help the suspect, alleged killers get home free, we are gonna talk about who he is first. Now let's start this the trill way and the trill right way. No magic tricks for the trick hat trick No snitch bitch can't get these federal games With the lames online Old heads with no gems on time Just a bird of a feather flock together Since you wanna be Rockefeller All you herbs can die together Riding through the plains with a hard plane Hard to believe Niggas done turn Steve into Eve This ain't right what happened to real rights I done witness real turn fake And fakes turn Jake's Jake's moving like be careful what you say They make up anything as they go I swear all these moves gotta be hoes Just remember we still carry Imposed by and by with no switch size, all the lies, real niggas still ain't supposed to testify. This shit gotta be do or die. Don't make a believe, pack up your shit and leave, nigga. Bleed him, he get left in the weather. This is a born together, nigga. Clubhouse smut niggas put dirt on niggas with fake paperwork. Moving over here, oop, tweet, talk the surf. Home of the brave, never afraid. That devil in the eye, I look him, I tell him, God must ride, ride till we die, ride till we. Die indeed. Make sure you go to my social media platform at DJ underscore bless one. Let's start this show the trail way. Now, I need y'all to meet Dolph's lawyer. You know what I mean? That's the entertaining part in, in a way. Not entertaining, but it's like, damn, Buddy is something different. Buddy got damn near an undefeated record. Uh, 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 he got prominent cases that shows... He is very well encrypted and knowing what he's doing out here to get people scotch free out here. That's some of the things I think people are overlooking. Michael E. Show, 28 years of criminal experience, 28 years of experience in criminal law, DUI and DWI, and also disputes in marriages or whatever. This guy is the attorney for the one they call Mr. Cornelius Smith. Now, in that case of Cornelius Smith, Michael Show's record is perfect. Before we go over Cornelius Smith and what the charges they're facing, the Lord, let's read some of the attorneys uh, uh, as far as his resume. Now, this man is originally from Newsport News, Virginia. Michael Show graduated from Old Dominion University in 1990 with a degree in mechanics engineering. He received his Juris Doctorate from C Y'all can read this. Hey, pause the video and read this whole thing. I'm not about to read the whole thing. I'm going to scroll down so we can go over it. Now, he practices areas of criminal law, criminal appeals, during uh, drug crimes, expungements, fraud, gun crimes, uh, internet crimes, and sex crimes, theft, violent crimes. He does all that. DWI, DW, I mean, DU. Uh, domestic violence he, he handles a whole lot white collar crimes we all know what are white collar crimes now he does personal injuries he could be found on the map as you see here his state bar of tennessee you see all the information is public knowledge and public information so in a way i'm doing promotions for him but he got the biggest promotion of his life i mean you got young dolph case hold on y'all i need my backdrop and my music to drop now yeah, let's go. Now, the attorney of this case has been through a lot, ladies and gentlemen. This ain't the only thing he's been through. This guy is somewhat, uh, 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 not just a high profile attorney. He's an attorney that could change things for the culprits, but especially for Cornelius Smith. Now, Cornelius Smith is 32 years old. Remember that. 
straight drop is 23 years old and that matters it shows that cornelius been through this before as well as straight drop but cornelius is thinking ahead of time he know what's gonna happen now you can see the reviews of michael shows here but that's not what i'm trying to show you michael shows he had several cases that he helped his clients in several times on over i'm gonna go to a prominent one you had one that dealt with uh andrew crosby andrew crosby was in a high profile case he was a memphis contractor charged with sexual battery charges um in an exclusive interview andrew crosby's attorney michael show who basically he responded to the charges and he helped his client you know charges basically get dropped like it literally got dropped after he uh andrew got indicted in this it looked like a probability of this case was over with now the person in the case the female was 14 and her being 14 she witnessed crosby her friend's dad basically educational purpose naked masturbated educational purpose in front of these two sleeping friends now that case was dropped this is a high profile case why does it matter it shows you that the attorney that uh, um one mr cornelius smith has is no joke at all now i'm gonna show you another prominent case that uh mr michael shows beat and he actually helped the people involved in this case which was a lady was the case basically she was a woman by the name of tabitha gentry she basically squatted in a two million dollar home in east memphis a mansion basically in that mansion she was sentenced to basically 20 years in prison for just squatting in a mansion for five days. She's one of them Moorish females who believe in sovereignty and how I know, I do my own research. After this case here, this was the home that she was in. As you can, let me play that before we start on anything. The million dollar squatter, the East Memphis mansion. In a mansion that was owned by a bank helping herself to the bank's property. I wonder where someone could get that idea. But more on that later. Spend their fortunes. And Basically, I was showing you how it's, it's hypocritical because certain white collar criminals do the same thing in vast majority. But this ain't the time to talk about that part. Now, the attorney, Michael Scholes, took over this and he said it's all apples and oranges. Every case is going to be different. And in that difference, he's going to try his best to get the client off, which he did because this was 2018. Now, why was she even charged with that? I went back to a latter date of tabitha well tabitha in 2014 was in a lawsuit um basically well in 2016 and 17 she was in a lawsuit but it was regarding the incident that happened in the class action lawsuit in 2014 where her and other several females in the jail in Florida County was held against their will, educational purpose. They were stripped naked and a whole lot of uh, a human rights violation was happening in that facility, which handled with that lawsuit. As you can see, they were allegedly pepper sprayed and they were left uh, naked by the jailers. And this where comes Michael Scholes, the attorney at law helped them in so many ways for that. So. You know, Cornelius Smith knows he got the best attorney for his situation and a best attorney that could help him out. Now, let's hear some of the things that they talked about their attorney situations on the news. Johnson and attorneys will represent Justin Johnson and Cornelius. These are the two men accused of killing Memphis rapper Young Dolph. Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre explains what's next in this case as the attorneys for both men have now been made interesting day in court here at 201 as Justin Johnson and Cornelius Smith appeared again in criminal court. Now, Judge Lee Coffey gave them three weeks, three weeks to hire an attorney to represent them in their criminal court case. Cornelius Smith, he showed up today with a hired attorney. That attorney happens to be Michael Scholl. Scholl told us that he's been in contact with Cornelia Smith's family for quite some time now, a couple of weeks, matter of fact. Justin Johnson, he again showed up today with no lawyer hired on. He requested more time from Judge Lee Coffey. Judge Lee Coffey denied that request and then appointed him 
Judy Ganguly. Judy Ganguly, he's no stranger to high profile cases. As We spoke to Judy Ganguly after the judge appointed him to represent Justin Johnson and he basically told us that he's ready for the challenge of taking on this case. We also spoke with Assistant District Attorney Paul Hagerman about the case and where it will now go. It is already past ready for you know justice in, in this case as uh, numerous other cases too. The system has to work, uh, has to work, and we got to give it time to time to work. Well, it'd be just like any other case that we handle here, and uh, you know we we made our statement this morning by entering his not guilty plea. We'll get all the evidence together and uh, we'll vigorously fight these charges best case outcome would be to get an acquittal at trial. Not everybody gets convicted. People thought Shara Wright was going to serve life in jail, but she's it's not. Judge Lee Coffey gave the option to Justin Johnson to still hire on his own attorney. However, Junie Ganguly told me he's ready to take on this. Now, we know this situation is a burden for all parties involved, but we'll see the outcome and keep you posted and updated. Make sure you guys hit the like button and notification bell. I'm your guy, DJ Bless. One, thank you for watching another episode of I Smoke Hip Hop Live. Salute to the home team. Salute to Smoke Gang. Love your family. Love your kids. And definitely, most definitely, ladies and gentlemen, stay blessed. Kyo with the long nose on the long nose you got that wordplay all day no magic tricks for the trick hat trick no snitch bitch can't get these federal games with the lames online old heads with no gems on time just a bird of a feather flock together since you want to be rockefeller all you herbs can die together riding through the plains with a hard plane hard to believe niggas done turn steve into eve this ain't right what happened to real rights i don't witness real turn fake and fakes turn jakes jakes moving like be careful what you say they make up anything as they go, I swear all these moves gotta be hoes. Just remember, we still carry them poles. By and by, with no switch sides, all the lies, real niggas still ain't supposed to testify. This shit gotta be do or die. Don't make a believe, pack up your shit and leave, nigga.